Hi everyone, Matthew Monas here. And in a couple of days, I'm heading down to Florida for a couple of weeks. So I figure it'd be the perfect time to do a what's in my bag video since I've never done one before on the channel. Now you'll probably see this video while I'm already there, but I'm filming it just before I leave so you guys get an idea of what I bring down with me. Now the bag that I'm using is the Manfrotto Veloc or Veloci, however you pronounce it. It is a small bag that holds my mirrorless camera along with a few lenses and a bunch of accessories. And it can also hold a 15.4 inch laptop. On the outside, we have a little carrying thing for your tripod. And the tripod that I'm bringing is the Manfrotto 190CX, which is what my camera is being held on recording this video. There's also a bunch of pockets that allow easy access to the inside of the bag, along with a few other pockets that allow you to carry small items. Now on the inside of the bag, we have a ton of stuff and I have really filled this thing to the brim. And the first thing we have is on the left side, in the main pocket is my Nexus 6P. Now this is not my daily driver, but it is my second phone. So whenever I carry two phones around, this is the other phone that comes with me. And sometimes I swap out my main phone and use this one instead. Next up on the list is a Chromecast, and that is the newest one from Google. This is a must have item on any vacation because you can just simply plug it into the back of a TV into the HDMI port and you can stream Netflix or stream stuff from your laptop or even from your phone. Next up is some AA batteries, which is great to have and it also will help power my Zoom H1 in case I need any extra power. Now, I am using the Zoom H1 to record this video. It's in my back pocket along with a, a lav. Now, I don't use this as my main audio setup. I used to, but I actually use a uh, shotgun mic. But this is great when you're going out, you're on the field, you need an external recorder, I definitely recommend it. And I'm bringing the lav mic too, just in case. But the secondary audio that I always use is with the Rode Video Mic Go. So I'll attach this directly to my Lumia G7, and this will give me secondary audio, or it'll be the audio that I use actually for vlogs. So even when I'm at home and I'm using my shotgun mic, I still use this just in case I lose the audio, I still have a backup copy of it, and it's a pretty clean source. Next up on the list is my headphones, and the headphones that I use are the HD6 Mix. These are from Sennheiser, they're very good headphones. They're not studio quality, but they're pretty close, and I do like the sound signature on them, so I definitely prefer these when I'm editing video and just listening to music. Now, I do also carry another pair of headphones with me when I use on the plane, and that's the Samsung Level On wireless headphones. They're Bluetooth, they're wireless, they sound really good, and most importantly is they have active noise cancellation. Really, really good if you have kids who are screaming on the airplane and you just don't wanna deal with them. Next up is a power cord for the Chromecast, and we have a point and shoot camera. This is the Canon G15, or Canon PowerShot G15. It's a little bit old now, still takes great photos, records in 1080p and 24 frames per second. So I'll carry this on me at all times in case I don't have my main camera with me and it'll still take some great video quality. Next up is a adapter. This is the Metabones adapter, which is used with my Sigma 18 to 35 lens that's on the Canon 70D right now but I'll use this with the lens if I'm hooking it up to my Panasonic G7 as you need an adapter in order to use Canon lenses. Next up is the case for the Zoom H1 along with a windshield mic protector to prevent those pops. And we have a little stand to hold the Zoom H1 in case I need to place it on a desk or place it somewhere else. Next up is my power bank and this one's a little bit of a beefy one. This is by EC Tech. Technology. It's 16,000 milliamps, is able to hook up three different devices at the same time, has a flashlight and a battery life indicator on the back. Very good, very cheap, and it does the job. Next up is the Joby DLSR Gorillapod. Now this is what I use to record my vlogs or what I'm going to use to record my vlogs. And you just simply hold it like this, or you can wrap it around stuff so you can be outdoors and you need to wrap it around something. Does that really well, very sturdy, very good. Definitely recommend it if you're looking into vlogging. Next up is a power bank for my laptop, which I am bringing the Dell XPS 15. This is the 90, 9, 9550. This is the latest XPS 15 from Dell. This thing is fantastic for editing video. I definitely recommend it. It has an Nvidia 960M dedicated graphics card, which will help you get that video edited. 
And next up, we have a bunch of accessories. So we have a mouse, and this is the Rokat Kova Plus mouse. I use this with the laptop when I don't want to use the touchpad, especially when I'm editing video. Very small, it's ambidextrous, great for people like me who are left-handed, and you can fit it in any bag you want. After that is just a, basically a bunch of chargers. We have a Nexus 6P charger, we have a bunch of lens hoods, and a bunch of lens caps that are used to cap my lenses when they're inside of the bag. We also have a lightning connector or lightning charging cable for my iPhone 6S Plus, which is right here. And this will be the daily driver as I mentioned before. Oh, and one last thing, I also have a scratch disc. And this is the Samsung T1 portable SSD. Great scratch disc, very fast. Definitely recommend it if you need a scratch disc for your laptop. And that pretty much wraps it up. The only other things that I bring with me is an iPad mini 2, which I don't have here. I throw a bunch of videos on it for the kids so they can be occupied while we're flying. The last thing you want are kids who are not occupied because it'll make the flight a disaster. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed my first what's in my bag video. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. Please feel free to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video.